Now, the Wabash Valley's most watched newscast continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist David Wire, certified by the American Meteorological Society. Good afternoon, everybody. 13 minutes after the hour, here's a live look uh, out to the east here across Wabash Avenue on our Vigo County Credit Union Tower Cam. Yeah, not the most motivating picture for a Thursday afternoon, but at least we don't have thunderstorms in our forecast and not a lot of heavy rain, but still some showers not going to be out of the question as far as rain's concerned. Right now it's 66 degrees. Uh, winds are out of the northwest. The barometer is still at a pretty low level. We've got the area of low pressure nearby, so if you feel aches and pains in the joints, the bones, and things like that, you are going to continue to feel that as the pressure's down but it is going to be rising as we go through the weekend and we'll see some higher pressure build in. Relative humidity is up at 81%, but that doesn't mean it's muggy just yet. That means there's some moisture in the atmosphere. The dew points are falling and that's what's getting our, uh, well, the uncomfortableness down. So it is going to, again, start to feel better outside. As far as rain today, we've measured just under a quarter of an inch. For the month, though, look at that. Compared to an average month of 4.28 inches for the month of May, we've already measured over seven inches of rain. So just again, since midnight, almost a new quarter of an inch of rain. That has put us over seven inches for this month. And remember, we were talking that April was the third wettest April on record. May shaping up to be pretty doggone wet as well. So when you get back to back months like that, hey, it's no question that our yards are swampy. It's no question that the farm fields are still very, very soggy and wet. And well, still, we just don't want any more rain. Rain is not our friend at this point. Scattered showers still hanging around south on 231 from Spencer to Freedom to Linton, mainly south of Owen County at this hour throughout Greene County scattered about between Linton and Bloomfield out in eastern Greene County. All right, Champaign south to Charleston to uh, Effingham. Still some rain showers there, and these are all slowly moving to the north slowly moving off to the east and notice how there's some more that is um, essentially down here to the south and west of us so if you've got outside plans this afternoon uh, i don't know if i'd start a painting project or something like that just for the simple fact that it's still very damp very wet and we're going to see not a lot of rain but still a few showers tomorrow's going to be a much better day for that current temperatures in the 60s and notice this it's it's a good 10 degrees cooler in mattoon winds are out of the northwest the cold fronts push through, but a lot of time there's several hours of lag before you actually get some cooler air to move in, and that's what's happening today. So it will continue to stay cooler than average. Dew points are dropping, and again, look at these dew point values. You get a dew point above 65, 66 degrees. That means it's very muggy, very, very uncomfortable outside. These numbers are going down, and that's because the winds are out of the northwest bringing in some drier, more comfortable air. So it will start to feel better and it will start to look better as well. Here's again our big picture, and again, all is quiet back out to the west. This is your Friday right here where the Central Plains are seeing today, and they've got a gorgeous day just to our west, but these clouds extend all the way west to Kansas, so we don't have any real choice. We are unfortunately going to stand under some cloud cover today. Computer models, real optimistic on clearing the skies, and I mentioned earlier this morning, count on clouds through most of the day, lower 70s, but still some winds out of the northwest, spotty showers around as well. Tonight, the threat for rain, gone. Mid 50s, winds out of the northwest. Tomorrow, threat for rain, not going to be here. It's going to be a beautiful day, very nice, plenty of sunshine. We'll, bring, we'll develop a few clouds just because there is a lot of moisture still on the ground. Okay, forecast for today, well, here's what we've got. 73 degrees. That'll be your daytime high. Spotty rain showers, we know that, and it's going to stay cloudy, and when these clouds move out of here tonight, maybe we'll get lucky and have some clouds closer to sunset that'll try to break up a little bit and see a, a hint of sunshine. Otherwise, count on more sun tomorrow, partly cloudy and 78. Got to do it on Saturday. How about this? A 20% chance for some spotty rain showers. As I mentioned earlier this morning, Abby, we had a dry weekend in there yesterday, but now we're starting to see some things come into place. The computer models, uh, over half of them are starting to suggest some rain showers this weekend, and I just can't argue with that at this point. Yesterday, it was only one of them, so that's why I was like, eh, maybe not, but only about a 20% chance. Keep that in mind for Saturday. I'm still going to Newton. I'm still going to be in the Strawberry uh, uh, Festival Parade, and I suggest you keep your outdoor plans as well for Saturday. If you're going there, make him wear some kind of <laughs> strawberry hat. Oh, I'll wear it. Yeah, sure. I why know not? you will. You're the Grand Marshal. Absolutely. All